Hey, my name is Alexander Asse, and I want to say this real quick. Now, I want to make a scenario out of what is going on right now. Listen, Nigeria is like a chessboard, all right? The country is a chessboard. The two players are our leaders and the maxed faced leaders. These are the people you don't see. These are people that make the deals with our leaders. And guess what? Nigerians, we, the middle class down to the, the poor people, we are the pieces that has been moved. So therefore, they automatically move us without we knowing. So sometimes we think they, we are actually moving forward. We're not moving forward. It's a joke around the chess board. So when two people that are not having your interest are playing the chess game, you are always going to lose. But when we have a leader that is playing the chess game to our benefit, we are going to win. The problem is not the government, it's your leader. It's your leader and the thing is, once your leader is wrong, it affects the system that is supposed to be right. Now, the Nigerian constitution for me, I feel is wrong, like it's totally wrong because it's actually been amended in the military rule and all that stuff and it's not actually playing well for the civilians we have today. Now, the thing I want to make you understand is, while they are playing this chess game, there's a system at which this team rotates. Now, the system at which the other faced maxed player um, is imposing to the game is affecting what our leaders are doing because you cannot be right. You cannot know the move of the next player if you don't go behind the, the move of the next player to see what he or she is doing. Nigerians, we need to stand up and elect a good leader because the system, we need to overhaul the system and make it right. Go back, re-elect a good leader and restructure the system and bet you Nigeria and Africa will rise again. Alexander Assay.